sorry, trying to make an introduction. Never mind the introduction. I'm Sun Terry, aka Bertacci, and I'm coming with uh, this tier list, meta list for what happened at Frostbite this weekend. Viewing it, I watched pretty much the whole thing. Very tired, been up pretty late to watch all of it. Majority of what I could, which is basically all of it. I watched a lot. Uh, and um, basically, this is where the meta is standing currently. Right now, everyone, not in exact order, I can't say. But all the matches, they were going wolf so many times. It's the, basically, you know he's in the meta, obviously, because you would see him jump on stream five games in a row. And would take half of them. Yeah. Strong back air. Strong neutral air. All makes for a great quick in the air. Yeah. Very strong neutral, yeah. All makes for a great character to be in the meta right now. To be basically top tier. Um, But when they got to top eight, obviously, like... Where, where the wolf was at now? <laughs> no, yeah, wolf wasn't there no more. Wasn't there no more. But still to say, definitely he's a top tier. He's going to get you some wins. Enough people thought he would get them wins, obviously. And they probably did. Um, they Wolf won a lot of matches. Same thing with Peach. Peach was like the other character that popped up on stream the most. With Alamar and Palatina, like these were like in almost every match. <laughs> I swear, every match I was watching, I was in Peach, Alamar, Palatina, and Wolf. It was just like, okay, let's see how this one fares. But seriously, those characters definitely deserve to be in top tier. Um, they have very strong neutral game. Alamar, sometimes you just like, you. he don't even have to leave the neutral. That's how good of a character he is. Shit, I even say if you're a little Mac main, you should probably switch to Alamar because Alamar he he don't have to leave the neutral. But if you you insist on being a little Mac and getting that KO punch, uh, we'll give it to him later. Anyway, we're on top tier right now. We're on the S tier. Who's the meta currently? These are the characters that will basically help you win your locals, help you win maybe a regional, help you win them. Those in the meta, strong in the meta, very heavily in the meta. What people are playing, what you're going to run into, what you're going to see. Yeah, until it changes. Yeah, Snake is top tier. Forget anyone who says that Snake isn't top tier. Basically, he going to be top tier until somebody else changes that. Um, but you're going to run into Snake, and Snake is going to win. MVD bringing them out. A lot of people was bringing them out. I saw Snake in a lot of streams. He was counting. He's he's very, very much so in the meta what you're going to fight. Inkling, don't even have to explain. Just too good. Cosmos is just getting so much, so much better. Pushing the meta for Inkling so much. Um, splat Bomb on ledge. Down tilt at ledge. Bringing you to death. Ken has amazing aerial movement. And can edge guard you really well off stage, like can go super deep and be completely safe. That's what Inkling can do. But Pichu can do that too. But that's why Pichu is at the top of the meta, very much so, right there with him. Avoid pushing the meta the furthest with Pichu. But hey, that means Pichu might fall out. But currently not. Nope. 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 People are gonna be playing Pichu. People are gonna be winning with Pichu. And yeah, pick up Pichu if you want to be. Great and Lucina, as you can see, even MK Leo when he got to the end, he was like, "Oh no 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 no, I gotta play Lucina, cause I need the best neutral game I can have right now in this tournament at the moment, cause the neutral game is so hot with the perfect shields, with the putting the attacks in the right spots, um, staying in your box, like guys." A lot of notes and techniques to be taken because this game got a long way to go. A lot of this can change. A lot of the meta can change. These are just the characters that very much give you high 
If you input down tilt, you're probably going to get something else out of it. If you get a grab, you're probably going to get something else out of it. You can defend yourself 360 degrees pretty easily and pretty safe. These are what these characters do. And set up. Palutena wall you out. That's the meta right now. Walling you out. Tricking you up. And um, my confirms are definitely going to be your confirms. Because mine are a lot easier to input than yours. So that brings us back to high tier. Brings us down a notch. And these are characters that was basically. They won a lot at Frostbite. But it wasn't like they were being seen by. A whole bunch of different people especially not when you get to top 40 these characters aren't really seen that much no more maybe about one maybe two people at most when it comes to these characters because really tweak really holding and zachary holding it down for wario getting that far on stream but wario is a very huge contender for moving up into the meta basically becoming the meta because you saw what that was down tilting to Dash, down tilt into that, or set up, up tilt, clap, clap. Good combos. Same thing with Greninja. Very great combos. Only one person was pushing the meta for Greninja that hard, though, at Frostbite. So, it didn't come out on stream other than really for Leia. Nowhere. Same thing with Rob. Uh, Wadi was holding it down there. Ike. Ike is uh, going to be up there, though. He can be, I don't know if he can become the meta. Like, Palutena and Lucina wall out. Well, no, Palutena wall out better than Ike, but Ike, if you play him right, you know, he can be better than Palutena, of course. So, it's, he just wasn't being represented a lot. That's why I believe he ain't making it to the, the actual meta of Frostbite. But, oh, currently what we're seeing right now, and it's only because Ike is not the most amazing in every situation and ain't gonna just give you the win. You actually do have to play very good neutral game to use Ike. So that's why not everybody's playing Ike. I'm not gonna get into that. But Ness. Um, Ness, myself, I believe, definitely deserves top 20. Shit, maybe even top 15. But this dude, Ness, is the running back of the century, Louisville slugger. I stay on offense, high drive, right there with Wario, because Wario likes to stay on offense, but so does Ness, so does Ness. I wouldn't doubt if he pulls past Palutena, probably, as the best mage wielder in the game, you know. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. Ness, he's, he's moving. Somebody is moving Ness, but he wasn't at Frostbite, so... But Ness is definitely a character you can pick up and you can win tournaments because he has 360 degrees attacks and getting you out of situations you need to get out. Same thing with Fox, same thing with Young Link. Young Link really didn't get represented a whole bunch at Frostbite, but he's definitely high tier and can become the meta because he is a very free character, very nice. Uh, as you saw tweaking doubles, had me tweaking out, boy. I was, what, what, what? Like, he was doing to too hard. I was hoping he would play him, but why would he have to play him when he could just win most of the matches up with uh, Wolf and then play Wario and then you don't know what you're doing because he's the only one that can do all of that and then boom, you did. Of course, uh, Pikachu was represented a lot also on stream by a lot of other players. Esam didn't go very far, so not many, I don't think any Pikachu made it into top 40. That's the only thing. Because uh, Pichu is the meta. <laughs> um, Mega Man, Yoshi, all these guys, all the rest of them here that can become the meta, they just they just got to be worked out more. You know, we got to just keep playing them. They're definitely high tier. They definitely do a lot better than the characters that go into the mid tier area. Because they have things that connect into something else and lead you into kills more often than the other characters. Or they're basically easier to tap into than the rest of the cast. But, because I'm only saying that like with Richter and Pokemon Trainer and Mars for Zero Suit Samus, these characters, they're not really there there. But we did get shocked and get shown that they can be there. 
they're they're definitely high tier characters, definitely, because they have a way to follow up and follow up nicely. But if it wasn't for that Richter showing out on top eight, out of you know, I'm not gonna say I would have put Richter lower, just because I saw the top eight show out from Shutan. But you know, not everybody was thinking Richter was that great. But we have been saying that he can be a high tier because the dude, if you could just get your spacing correctly with him, as you can tell, he takes a lot of work, obviously, because if you mess up, he's like Cloud, basically, from Smash 4. You're, dead, you're basically dead a lot of times. But he will progress in the meta, so that's why Richter is going to be up there. Richter is going to stay in high tier. Because he's probably more than likely going to go up. I don't know if he's going to become the meta he may. He may become the ultimate wall meta. Maybe. And um, basically mid-tier now. You can make it a stream with these characters. I don't really see you winning the whole thing with these characters. At any nationals. Unless they get some type of... I don't, I don't know. They don't... Come come show us. I'm not going to say nothing. Come show us. Come show us. If you believe any one of these mid-tier characters can do something amazing and can become the meta, come show us. Because they wasn't what was popping at, at this national. They wasn't. And the next year, who? 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 Didn't even see him. I don't think I saw him. And if I, I mean, I'm not saying they didn't make it because I couldn't see every freaking minute there was three streams. But, um, yeah, it, it was just a joke I was making. Either, either way, they're not, they're currently not in the meta. It's not what's being seen, not what's being showcased, not what you're going to really run into a whole bunch. Not at no national level, at least. I mean, maybe at a local level, but. These, these definitely the who category? Yeah. Who's going to show with them characters are better than that? Who's going to do it? But as we can see, anything from the um already currently the meta, yeah, that's pick up. You're going to probably get yourself some better chances of winning. But high tier, obviously showing that we can push their metas. They can play different ways. And if we... If you just keep practicing, you know, show out some more, they may become the meta. Definitely anyone who gives you confirms into confirms because Tweaks was showing us the most that confirms into confirms is what you need to be doing. Don't get it twisted. Don't. That's what you need to be doing and improving your defense skills because these dudes going to be hitting you. You need to be good at parrying. <laughs> get there. That's all I have. That's that. I don't, I don't see. Tell me if you disagree. I mean, I don't really think you can disagree much with me. This was the data, and this was basically the meta, and currently what's probably going to be the meta until Pound or the next. I think that's the next big national. But next big national, uh, come out, come show what it's supposed to be if this not what it's supposed to be. But for now, or until 3.0 patch come, I, I don't see this changing up much. I just see some other characters becoming the actual meta. But I don't see what's changing really from... If you're a mid-tier right now and you're a who, there's only a few over there that I think can make it out of that category and into the high-tier category. But we're just going to wait for that. We're just going to wait for that. Anyway, I live stream this, obviously on my twitch and this goes on youtube and yeah follow me on all those instagram sun.terry link in the description all below i hope you like the uh tier list because i did a lot of watching for this also came from my brain we all love to play smash thank you